right, welcome back. This is M Dog, and we are fishing here on the Norwegian Sea. This will be a fairly quick video. I sort of just wanted to spend a little bit of time fishing in this spot with this uh, type of rig and then just sort of record what the results are looking like uh, and just sort of report back in this video in case any of you want to come fish in this spot in a similar fashion and see how well you do. So uh, we're just gonna finish reeling this fish in, possibly catch one to two more, and then we'll um, head back to town and kind of see how we've done. Um, let me just kind of focus on getting this fish in. I'll continue to talk obviously, but once I get the fish in, I'll show you the rig we're using, show you where we're fishing on the map and all that. I, I just had seen a lot of folks in the last few days talk about fishing in this spot. In fact, during one of my streams over the weekend, we actually did come here and spend a few minutes fishing here. Uh, and it seemed pretty good then, but as I've continued to see reports about it on the VK site, uh, I wanted to actually spend more like a full hour here, just kind of see what species were coming out and how good the bite rate seemed and all that. So that's kind of what I've done. and. I mean, I think overall it has seemed good. Obviously your results are gonna vary just based on a few fish, right? When you're going for bigger fish or uh, for some of the more valuable fish in a deeper spot like this, one or two fish going your way or getting that one trophy or getting that one a little bit more rare species or whatever is gonna dramatically change how much silver you're making uh, I've seen reports on VK that people in this spot are, you know, in, in two to three hours making 15 to 2,000 silver, 1,500 to 2,000 silver. Um, but, you know, that's probably on the high end. That's like a really good hour and a half to two hour session. That's not going to be every hour and a half to two hour session in this spot, I wouldn't think, but... Um, Again, I think it comes down to just the RNG of a couple fish pushing what will be either a good session and turning it into more of a great session. So let's see what this is. All right. That is a nice one. Wow. Guys, that was, that really was random. I mean, I had no idea that uh, that was going to be a trophy. I, <laughs> I know I just started recording, so you must be thinking like, oh, he knew that was a good fish. I really didn't. I mean, if you think about the size of that fish, uh, I guess it's a little bit bigger than anything else we've caught, but all of these species have the possibility of being in that size range. And when you're using a big rig like that, this, and you're locking it up, it's hard to tell. Uh, but anyway, so there's a wolfish. Okay, first of all, let's look what's in the keep net. What are we catching here? A lot of wolf fish. Only one cusk, which is kind of interesting. One of the more rare wolf fish, the spotted, a European angler. That's always a great sign. The blue ling, another good fish to catch, and a small redfish. So, oh, and a random pollock in a safe. But so, so I, I would I would argue a very nice spread of um different species let's go ahead and let this be dropping and let me show you where we are on the map here so this is an unmarked spot i think it's going to be a depth of about 130 meters in most of the in this area um you can see it's right here on the line basically h5 to i5 and uh, like I said, and as you've probably seen, if you've been paying attention lately, there has been a good bit of fishing going on in this, in this hole. And a lot of folks are using these store fisks. This is the 17. I have also been, so if you look at my keep net, let's look at the best fish we've caught here was on the 17, but the second best fish we've caught Okay, that was on the 17. The third best, oh, it also was the 17. How about the spotted? There you go. So there's the 18. I really have been, other than the fact that we just caught a trophy, so I decided to same the, throw the exact same lure. Other than that, I've mostly been switching back and forth, fish to fish between the 17 and the 18. Both of them are the 600 gram, the M25 series. 
and I've been doing a combination of light and heavy and strong perking um, in terms of getting the fish uh, on the hook and you know I've kind of I've had a, a game on in the background or whatever so it's felt like a really good bite rate I mean I guess technically if you look at we're 112 minutes and we've only got 12 fish so it's not like the best bite rate ever but as you saw the quality of fish and the type of species that we're getting you're mostly getting pretty decent fish and 130 meters is a long way to pull a fish up it's a long way to wait for the lure to go down so some of that kind of contributes to um, the timing of it as well but we'll see how long this one takes to get on the line uh, possibly I'll do one more with the other lure we'll just see how long this takes but uh, but this is I mean this is really it this is what we've been doing uh, because it's a small little space in some ways when the currents blowing us off we you know I do have to adjust the boat drive south or north pretty frequently um, so that's just like one more thing you have to do is just kind of pay attention wait am I still on the on the actual hole I, I've tried casting just like outside of it and it definitely to me felt like that significantly slowed the bite rate down to the point where I never caught a fish I just saw that it wasn't it didn't seem like it was happening so I just brought it back up all right this has a chance of um, being something interesting I would say er, early feeling I have is this could be an interesting fish certainly could be wrong but you see all the inconsistencies the bouncing how fast it is at times uh, you know I don't think this is a halibut for example there are halibut here by the way at least if you can believe VK I mean there's a lot of the reports from this this spot that I'm seeing online does include people catching halibut I just have, have not happened to have seen one yet and I don't think based on how this fish is interacting with being on the line I don't think this is a halibut <laughs> if you've been on my streams though you know that there are plenty of times that I'm wrong about whether or not something is a halibut but I really don't think this one is And this is, to me, this is the thing that, one of the things that really slows you down why you can't catch a little more, a few more fish per hour here is it just takes a long time to reel these fish in. You know, even a 10 kilo wolf fish or whatever, it's got enough fight to it, enough weight to it that, you know, it's just a little bit longer process to bring it 130 meters through the water. Um, even with something like, you know, the, the Borealica or whatever, you know, whatever nice conventional reel you might have or be using still takes a little while. See how much bouncing there is there. I mean, this, uh, you know, one fish that the, you catch especially early on when you get to Norway where you start to notice some of this bouncing is like a safe Pollock and Haddock can do it a little bit too but then you start to realize that like the sharks a lot of the sharks kind of have that same bounce to it um, the um, swordfish can have some pretty aggressive bounce to it also swordfish go on a really fast run at first we had a 50 plus kilo swordfish on stream the other day and that was what stood out about it is like when i first hooked into it it just took off for just a few seconds and then it started coming in but was very bouncy and aggressive um there was something else i was going to say though sharks a lot of the different shark species Hmm. Oh, I was going to talk about the blue ling, the lings. 
in my experience, if you're if it's a nice, a decent sized ling, one of the things that you'll see, especially in the first like third of the fight, maybe in the beginning of the fight, they're really fast. Sometimes you'll have a hard time catching up to them. Um, when you first hook into them. So they, you know, you have to be careful that they, they don't create so much slack that they have a better chance of getting off. So you have to reel as fast as possible when they're like swimming up in the water or whatever. Now I'm not sure about the bounciness of lings. It just depends on the size of it probably. Um, I know that there are at least blue lings here based on what I've caught. And I think there might be another, the other type as well, the common one or whatever it's called. Um, so, but here we go. We are about ready to see what this is. And then we'll switch lures and cast one more time, I think. Yeah. It's definitely, I mean, this thing, it just had a shark feel the whole way, didn't it? That constant bounce. So there's also poor beagle here. This is, oh, actually, even though that was another great fish, I hate to switch lures in some ways. Uh, to be fair, I think both of these lures seem to be doing really well in this spot. So, um, and we're still here, although we're close. So we need to hope for a fairly quick bite right here or we'll have to reposition. Uh, we're already at 126. Actually, I'm gonna stop it. I do not wanna get into, especially since we're recording right now, I don't wanna take a chance where we uh, get into a situation where I just you know, can't find a fish because we've drifted off the edge of the, of the area. It might've been fine, but Let's see. Let's just go in reverse just a bit. You can see we're already in the 133 meter area again. Yeah, that should be perfect. That should give us plenty of time. I have been getting that bug occasionally out here where uh, it just looks weird when you try to when you hit the right right mouse button to lift the rod so let's see if we can um yeah i think we're fine i don't think we're gonna have the bug we should be good all right so yeah the last three fish we've caught actually the last four if you go back to spotted wolf fish an angler trophy atlantic wolf fish and then a poor beagle i mean that's that's a heck of a four fish in a row, right? So let's do one more here and then we'll just see by then it'll be about an hour and a half or whatever. Let's, let's see how we did. Ooh, I do not see fish on the drop here very often with this lure. Uh, so I don't know what this means. We'll see what this is. I will probably cast again though. This is kind of cutting it short. Yeah, I think that's the first fish I've caught on the drop in this you know hour plus time we've been fishing here A little safe. All right, I'm going to keep the same lure on. Uh, it, it is tempting to switch back to the other one, but so it was the 17 just for a refresher here. The last time we used the 18 was the spotted wolf fish. So If you don't want to switch back and forth, like if you had to choose one right now, I suppose you'd go with the 17.
but both of these colors have been really good catching some definitely some desirable um, fish species all right we're still at 133 Really try to mix it up, not just with the strong and light perking, but how long I pause. Uh, sometimes I'll do very quick perks. strong perk in particular is going to often lift it out of the bottom layer but then it drops back in it which that can sometimes be a good thing It's a good test to try to see if we can get this one more fish on because this is the part of the day that's going to be the slowest. Well, I have tended to notice that I've been a little bit higher than this oftentimes, but I think we can still find something here. At least I hope so. This is another thing that slows down your fish per hour. This is definitely the longest now, you know, like I said before, I had a game on and that kind of passes the time too, but this definitely feels like the longest I've gone without a bite, which if you think that sometimes you can not necessarily fish a spot like this out, but you catch a few good fish and maybe it slows down a little bit. We have been here, what, almost an hour and a half now. But I would say the time of day is probably impacting how long that bite took as much as anything. Oof. Did we find that halibut? It's not that big so far. Not very heavy. But it's very consistent. Not, you know, we're not seeing any of that bounce didn't try to go for a run just pretty consistent but it's going to be consistently slow it looks like coming up at least for now oh there it picked up a little bit not much though
don't like how consistent it's pulling down. It might be because it happened on the stream, uh, one of my streams this weekend a couple times, but I feel like this fish is going to pop off. It's just a long way to pull it through the water at this speed. I mean, we've only made it about 30, just around 30 meters at this point. Oh my goodness, I didn't mean to do that. That was awkward. Jumped into the driver's seat. One thing that I, as I'm keeping an eye on our energy Bucking up on me. Yeah, it's a little awkward. It's weird, isn't it? It's not that heavy. There's no like fight to it, really. This just feels like a 25 kilo halibut. Maybe even a 20 kilo halibut. I'm, I'm probably going to be way off. I'm just saying that's just kind of the impression I get. It is coming up a little faster now. We went from 100 meters to 65 meters, I feel like, in a much smaller amount of time than those first 30 meters. Yeah, it's kind of booking it a little bit more now. I still just don't want to risk dropping it. Oh, it's so consistent. Makes me nervous. All right, there we go. That's when I feel like I can reel pretty aggressively is when it you can tell it's like tired and it just sort of gives up and just lets you pull it straight up for a minute there I still think this is a halibut I think this is a small halibut But we're close now. We're unless we're really unlucky, it looks like we're gonna get to see what this is. It's just not that big, is it? Look how small that is weight-wise. I don't know, I could be way wrong on what this is. I was incorrect. Oh no, I was right. It was so small that when I had it at the angle there, it actually didn't look like I kind of saw it like this in the water. I was like, wait, what is it? Okay, that is a small halibut. Wow, very small. Okay, but like I said, I mean, I thought there were gonna be halibut here. We just, whether you consider it lucky or unlucky, we just hadn't hit them until that point. 
Okay, let's see how we did here. Let's let's at least give you a final monetary report. Um, okay, I'll be right back. Oh man, the question is going to be, and I don't know, I'm going to have to think about this, but do I want to put that trophy wolf fish in my house? I've been trying to like remember to put at least a little bit of a variety of different cool looking fish species in my house since I have one here now. The trophy wolf fish, though not a rare catch, that is pretty cool. And it is that size that just fits in those medium slots really well. It's a strange fish. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Okay. Ooh, that's a big halibut. 166. Hake. Oh, yeah, my Pollock. So that's 68.2. I think that's going to be it. 68.2. Ooh, wow. That is some good silver. See, I felt like we were going to be, I guess we did. That trophy helps a ton. So does that poor beagle. And um, yeah, I mean, that whole top row of fish, the, the amount of silver per fish up there, it's pretty nice. So yeah, that gets us up over 1100. Even if I take that away, we're still at 721. And when I turn in the Pollock, instead of making 20 silver, we're gonna make 68, so that helps too. So anyway, all right, that's good. Very good, I've still gotta think about Wolfish before I make a decision here, but good silver. Yeah, this, this spot seems to be worthwhile if you, you know, it's uh, you're catching good fish, but you're not having to wait forever for bites. It is kind of deep. For me at least i'm used to fishing more shallow spots on on this map but all right hey as always thanks for watching tight lines let me know if you have tried this spot or decide to how your catch is uh but you know i would say this was a little better than i thought we were doing silver wise it's pretty nice so i'm glad for that all right tight lines see you next time